Hello everyone, welcome back to the man cave. So, we're getting back at it. Finally, you know, me and the wife, we've done some talking and she's told me what I need to do, so that's what we're gonna do. No, really, she hasn't. But we have been doing some talking and, and we wanna try to get this old car fixed, put back on the road and uh, let's drive it and enjoy it and go from there. So anyway, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I was debating on putting the car back together like it is, just leave the kind of patina look to it and, and drive it and have fun. But as I started removing stuff, you know, I saw some signs of rust. I just can't leave it like that. Um, I just can't do it. I, I knew there were some issues with it, and I, I, I'll bring you in and show you that a little bit closer here in just a second. But, you know, I was, well, let's just drive it and enjoy it. But then the work that I'm going to put into it to get it to where I can drive it and enjoy it, every time I look at the body, I'm gonna be like, oh, it sucks. I know the trunk has a lot of fitment issues, so we're gonna start grinding all this down. Uh, the trunk does not line up at all, and I don't know what's going on with that. So I've got to get this up on jack stands, get it squared up, see how everything sits. But here, let me show you a couple of things on it that are concerning, and I think it's more so from it just sitting up and not being driven and stuff, uh, and, you know, sitting out in the weather or what have you. But here, let's take a look at these other things real quick. So, if you can tell, um, I don't know if you can, I might I try to zoom in some and see if I can get it to, to zoom. Yeah, there we go. Look how thick the Bondo and stuff is on this, and you can see where it's already cracking. And, um, and we can see it on the other side over there. I mean, you can really see how thick that Bondo's been laid on in the back. Um, you can see the, the trunk gaps are just horrible. And you can see some rust around the trunk edges. That I want to fix. You know, I'm going to address all this stuff. But, uh, you know, I can see some stuff popping out here in the back. Uh, we got the panels and stuff off of it. So that's stuff I'm going to look at. You can see where it's trying to crack through there. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit back and say that there won't be any Bondo in this car because there will be Bondo or, you know, body filler or what have you, but uh, it'll just be to make it straight. Um, all the metal work, I hope to be done as metal and and we'll just come back and try to do the fit and finish later. I do have some spots up here that's got to be filled in. Uh, a little bit of work that I need to do around this roof edge. So yeah, this stuff... This stuff I'm going to fix. Um, all right, it appears mostly uh, what we have is, you know, they had some low spots here. I, I see a little discoloration in the metal. I don't know if they tried to add something back in here. I don't see any weld lines, and I'm not 100% sure if maybe this is where it was seen and leaded. Uh, yeah, I see some, you know, a little bit of rust pits in it throughout here, which is not bad that that stuff can be fixed for sure um the bondo on this thing was oh my god it was thick um it was crazy thick but i think probably some of the biggest things is, is i think right there you'll i'll find out that there's probably a rust hole there and on the other side over here i could see where they did something here i'm not sure if they just cut that out and you know, boogered something in or what. I haven't gotten all the way down to that yet, but I'm not sure what they had going on. But, there, you know, there was a couple of, of problems, but nothing crazy. All right. Uh, as you can see, we have done a little bit more to the cycling. Um, I've got a lot of grinding done. You know, found some problem areas that need to be looked at. Uh, they actually have some... This is probably leaded in originally, so... They had it filled that in, but I don't understand some of this kind of stuff. Um, but one of the things that I want to address is this section right here. I can see where somebody has welded in a, a patch panel or attempted to patch it here. And um, and I mean, it's holding, but it, they had a lot of a body filler in this too. So I'm going to probably cut this section out and try to redo it all and uh, come all the way around. But one of the things that we're going to try to do is we're going to hook up the CR scan uh, what is it, that CR ferret, and uh, see if we can scan this corner and maybe make a mold. If nothing else, we can make a uh, a mold to to form off of, hopefully. But I'm going to see if I can make a uh, a die 
and press this thing together. So yeah, let's get that set up and let's try it and see how it works. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try setting this up with the phone. That's one of the reasons why I got this thing originally was to, uh, so it was more versatile without having to put it up to the laptop. So we're gonna put this together, set our, uh, our phone adapter and stuff on it. And, um, yeah, let's see how it works with the, using the phone first. And I got my cable in it for the, uh, for the camera, so let's see here. We need to hook this end to here. This end goes into the camera. All right, make sure I have as much memory free as I can. Plug this puppy in. It automatically pulls up. Ask us what we want to do. Okay, I need to upgrade the firmware, so that's going to take a minute. All right, so we've got it set up. You can kind of see me there in the background. I mean, I'm not trying to scan me, but you can see what it's doing. Um, we're going to try to give this thing a scan and uh, see if we can get it set up. I think we may have enough data. Um, we're gonna let it optimize, check out the check out what it scanned, and then we'll look at it. Probably save that. We might try to rescan it again, but I think that may be close enough for what I want to do to start with. Uh, okay, so I've done the uh, basic scan, and um, here's what it looks like after I have. Uh, just I basically just brought it straight from the memory on my phone. I don't actually scan it with my phone. I scan it with the the Creality scanner thing, the um, CR scan, and I use my phone t for the memory. And to to I've confused some people on that before. I'm not actually scanning it with the phone. We scan it with the scanner. The phone's just a view screen and the storage device that it scans too so um uploaded that information to the computer brought it in the mesh mixer and this is uh what we're what we're looking at now so this is the initial scan i've not done any touch up or anything to this um so you can see you know in the scan here the areas that are rusted out obviously it needs a bunch of cleanup and stuff to try to do anything with I haven't decided completely what I'm going to do with it, if I'm going to try to make them hold or what. And if somebody out there is interested and wants to uh, wants to play with this in um, in their software, you know, uh, hit me up and I will be more than happy to um, share the uh, data with you and uh, and see what we can come up with. Um, I'd love to have this section here cleaned up where I could possibly make a uh, a mold on my 3d printer so we can try to press some of this out now let's look at another one too um, for, uh, our mesh mixer and I'm going to import in the color scan of this now this is the crazy thing the color mapping on this scan stuff is like phenomenal um, so let's pull this in I mean there's a lot of faces a lot of data that it pulls in with this object but just look at the look at the colors on this thing I mean, you know, we got rust and everything, but it's just photograph, you know, photograph quality. I did spend a little bit more time in this area, but I mean, you can even see, you know, you can see the Bondo and stuff in it, but you can see the outline of what the patch panel was that they had welded in originally. So this is the area I need to clean up on the, in the mesh. And um, if I can clean this up, um, I don't know if you've seen my other video where I did the steering wheel control for my Nissan, but if I can clean this up and just leave it in a thin plane, I can use this as a tool to cut a mold, and that's what I'm looking to do. All right, well, things look a little bit different since the last clip here, I'm sure. Um, we've made a little progress on the Cyclone so far, so uh, now it's kind of one of those... Uh, 
can't turn back now type deals. Uh, we got the fenders off. We got the you know doors off, obviously. I mean, you can see that, but uh, did not really uncover a tremendous amount more. I do see where it looks like this has had an accident in the right front here. Um, you can see from the from the inner fender well or from the inner fenders here there's a little bit of a buckle in it here um and there's a couple other little things i saw i think this right front frame horn is down just a little bit i'm gonna have to get some information and see what i can find out on all that but uh that kind of supports my idea of going just full tilt with this car instead of just a simple throw a motor and transmission in it and run um the car is really, really too nice to not do properly. Um, and I did not want to get into a long-term project. I thought this was going to be, uh, hey, let's just throw some, let's throw our motor transmission and stuff in it. Let's fix this little bit of rust and let's go from there. But the more I got to looking, uh, you know, as you saw probably in the previous clip, we've got some issues here. This stuff I've got marked out where I need to cut out and replace. Um, it's rusted out all the way down into the channel here that you can see uh, So I want to replace that. I don't want leaks and stuff inside the car um, I need to grind out the other corner over there and see what we got I'm gonna go over the whole thing with a wire brush make sure that any other rust is in it We can find um, you know, I just see little small spots here popping out here and there. I mean, it's not It's not anything massive, you know, I mean some small spots on the rockers. It's not where I need to like hey i got to put a quarter panel or something on this thing um it's just little stuff i mean you know little places like here i think i showed you earlier that that i need to fix but it's it's not bad i mean inside outside it's it's actually not bad so it's it's you know it's to the point how far do we go i have an idea in mind of how i would like to see the car finished and me and my wife have talked about it, and I think that's the direction we're going to go. Um, I did not record while I was taking a bunch of this stuff apart, because it's just pretty much straightforward, you know, unbolt and take off kind of stuff. Uh, when I start getting into doing some heavy fabrication on it, I will, um, I'll go in a little bit more in depth on, on what we've got going on. But now, I just need to take measurements, find, you know, front end center lines, because I am going to do a custom front end in it. Um, drivetrain i'm not sure i'm not 100 percent positive on yet uh, but i uh i bought this um this uh, uh what are they called um dust collector off of amazon you know it was like 100 bucks i think but this thing works great when i'm sanding and it doesn't have to be hooked directly to the sander and what i did was i 3d printed out this bracket it's got a couple of magnets on the bottom of it, so I can just take it and stick it wherever I'm working at, and it helps to suck up a bunch of the dust. Anyhow, you know, if, if anybody's interested in some stuff like that, let me know. I'm going to try to get a website up so I can maybe do some, some merchandise, some products. Um, you know, it really would help if everyone would like and subscribe and, and share. Uh, I know that there's not a lot of content coming through as quickly as a lot of, as a lot of the other creators, but... You know, I am new to this, and, you know, it takes a while to build things up, and, and it's with the help and support from people like you that, that allow us to uh, to do these things. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's uh, let's keep this project going. Put some comments in, in down below on, on some ideas that you have that uh, you might would like to see done to the car. Maybe somebody has something, you know, different that I haven't thought of um but uh you know it's got to be you know right now it's got to be within a reasonable budget for sure because this is all coming out of mine and my wife's pocket and uh you know our pockets aren't bottomless i will be doing some 3d scanning on the suspension or on the body um so if you have uh if, if you have some requests on some things that you would like to have scanned if you've got one of these cars uh, drop me a line, and I'll see what I can scan and get up to you. It's on the way. But, yeah, I, I plan on continuing to document the build of it. Um, so y'all keep checking out, checking back in, and uh, I'll try to keep you updated as much as I can. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. And, again, check out our other videos, and like and subscribe, and share it with your friends so others can, can get on board. Again, y'all have a great one. Check us out again soon. Thank you. Have a great day.